Hello everybody, I wanted to do something a little bit different for a video, so I'm just going to show off my Jarbarian or Barbarian build. Uh, I normally would have a jar on my head, but I transferred it to my new character because, you know, Elden Ring DLC hype, so I'm playing a new character currently. But this was a build that I put together just for fun. Uh, it's something that I really like because you can get almost all the pieces very early in the game other than like the armor, which is why I sent the jar. Uh, it involves using the pickaxe, which you can get from one of the first dungeons in the game. It's literally right next to where you get Torrent. Uh, I'm going to be showing off where all these locations are later. Um, you can use the Highland Axe, the Roar Medallion, and the Axe Talisman. All combine to do bonus damage for your roars. So whenever you use like Warcry or uh, Barbaric Roar, Braggart's Roar, anything like that, as well as other roars, uh, I believe it was pat in a patch it updated and added a lot more options. Um, I also like to use the pickaxe specifically because it does pierce damage, and pierce damage has counterattack damage, which basically makes it so if you hit an enemy when they are doing their attack you do 30% extra damage so essentially you want to hit them while they're trying to hit you which makes this build very good for trading uh, hits essentially because braggart's roar and war cry the two-handed charge heavy attack does give you a decent amount of poise even if your poise is low you'll see when I show this uh, maybe we'll see um, even with low poise, you can tank a hit and it'll still go through, but not very big hits, so it depends on what you're fighting. Um, this also stacks the Spear Talisman, which gives another 15% uh, damage bonus to your piercing hits, so it's about 45. I believe it's actually closer to 50 because of how it scales. Um, as for the other abilities, I can double check here. The Roar Medallion gives you 15% more damage. Um, the spiked crystal cracked tier, which you can also apply to go with this, gives you another 15% damage to your heavy attack. The Highland Axe gives, I believe it's 7.5% uh, bonus damage. Oh no, it's 10% more damage. <laughs> quite a lot. And then another 10% from the Axe Talisman. So all of these are adding up to make quite a heavy hitter. So to show an example of how much damage this does, um, I've using minimal strength i'm actually below the requirement but you generally you're going to be two-handing this weapon so i have 21 strength um and there's no upgrades on this pickaxe it's just scaled to heavy heavy scaling and i'm just going to show like a quick example of how much damage this does when you have your buffs active also braggart's roar gives i believe it's about 10 percent damage bonus and changes your move set so just as a quick example, here's how much damage you do. So about 500 damage with no upgrades, which is pretty significant. And can stagger in two hits. Two heavy attacks will almost always stagger most enemies. Now I'm going to show one where it's plus 12, which was a little bit more appropriate for this zone. So you can get an idea of how much damage it does later on. Buff. Braggart. Charge. A thousand damage at plus 12. So, again, it's not the most overpowered build of the game, but this is one I quite like because you can get it so early. And I'm going to be showing you where to get everything in a moment here. Okay, to start off, you're probably going to want to take the warrior class. It gives you enough strength when two-handing to wield the weapon, as well as only needing one point of dexterity. Uh, after that, you want to pick up usual, the usual things, get your whetstone, get torrent, all those sorts of things, uh, and head straight to the mines. Over here, you can start farming for the pickaxe. It's pretty easy to get. These guys aren't very strong. They're usually busy mining, so just hit them a few times in the back and there you go and there you get the one point of dexterity and you can immediately wield it so it takes only one level that's all you need to get your pickaxe going from there i went straight into finishing the dungeon just need to kill the troll here which is very simple and easy uh he drops the barbaric roar talisman i forgot what it's called the roar talisman or the roar medallion uh all it takes is two heavy hits to stagger him he's very easy and uh that's pretty much it just Keep doing this a couple times and 
we'll move on. Uh, I would say save these runes because you will need to buy uh, Warcry since you won't have access to Braggart's World for a while if you intend to do the quest line. Uh, on the way over toward uh, Bernal, who sells you the Warcry, I like to pick up the Strength Crystal Tear. It's right up the hill nearby. There you are. Yep, there you go. You can buy the Warcry for only 800 runes. Very simple. And just like that, you already have two of the biggest parts of the build. You can use Warcry to, I believe it, what it does is increase your strength scaling in order to increase your damage as well as increases your just raw damage in general i'm not entirely sure the point is you do more damage and the roar medallion increases it as well as giving you the new move set from there i recommend getting the spiked cracked tier you get it from the tree nearby to where you actually pick up your wondrous physic it's very close by uh, avoid the bears, of course. After that, I went over and picked up the Spirit Calling Bell because I had forgotten to do so. Um, in order to get the second uh, Talisman slot, you have to defeat Margit. And I just decided to summon for just to speed this up. But this gives you a good example of just how much damage this does, even this early on. I've only leveled up one time, and... Just with su while it summons are clearly making this a lot easier, this does give a good example of how much damage you're doing at the very start of the game with just the talisman, the, the buff, and the weapon. You can also see how I tanked a hit right there and did not stagger, even though I don't really have enough poise to normally do that. So the heavy attack does give you some poise. Of course, you have to be used to using it for <laughs> these sorts of uh, fights. For fast-moving targets, I don't recommend this build very much. It can do a very significant amount of damage if you are good at timing it. But this is not a sort of build I recommend for your first ever build. Probably for like a follow-up playthrough. Because you need to kind of have a general sense of when to attack. From here I went uh, back to the... I finally go to the round table. Excuse me. And I get a level up for my weapon using the smithing stones I got from the mine. From the very first mine. And I believe it's only enough for a plus two. Uh, here's just an example showing how much damage this does for like normal enemies a lot of people uh, i remember i had a bit of trouble in my first playthrough fighting this guy and meanwhile he's now absolutely trivialized and again you can see that you can tank a hit thanks to the poise from the charge attack uh, after that you want to grab the highland axe for that extra 10 percent damage very easy way is from the grace there in the castle you just hop on down and go through the door that's right there. There'll be one enemy you'll want to kill that'll be on your left here. And then to your right, right in front of that painting of, uh, I believe it's Godfrey. Or Horalu. We'll just go with that. And there it is, your Highland X. You can fight this guy if you want. I chose to run away because I didn't feel like fighting him at the moment. But it's the same enemy and moveset and such from the very beginning of the game. Thankfully, you do not need to have the Highland Axe out. You can two-hand your main weapon, so the pickaxe, and you still get the buff. All it has to be is just equipped. 
and that's end out. <laughs> From there, I went and picked up the charged uh, axe talisman. There you go. I was trying to think of the name because I now have my second slot. Another option you can do is you could head to uh, Lyurnia the Lakes and go for the Spear Talisman, which you can see here. Uh, the Spear Talisman, obviously, just it, it's easier to use rather than the, the Charge Heavy one because the Axe Talisman requires you to do a full Charge Heavy, not a partial, just not just a regular Heavy Attack. It has to be the fully charged one. And those can be a bit harder to land, so... All you have to do is just run through the dungeon here and go straight ahead, essentially. Just follow the path, and there will be a chest at the end of it, and that will have your Spear Talisman. This one's a little bit easier to make use of, since all you have to do is just hit the enemy when they're trying to hit you. And generally, that's what you're doing, like, half the time anyway, without even realizing it, so... This here is just another quick showcase of how these work in their very early game, just how much damage you're doing. And I decided to test it on the Tree Sentinel at the very beginning since I skipped over him. So this is with a plus two weapon and now I believe I was only about level 20 at this point and I had only leveled up from just what I had already collected or what XP I had gained from uh, collecting everything. You can see it hits quite hard, <laughs> if you can land it. Of course, it's not the easiest thing to land, and I'm not the greatest at the, <laughs> at the game. But I do find it very fun, and I enjoy the fact that you can get all of the components pretty early. Almost, almost all of them are in the very first zone, and the Spear Talisman, even if you can't use it uh, until you get to, I believe, the capital, Landau Capital, to fight the Golden Godfrey. It's still nice to have as a swap out. Because some enemies do tank things quite a lot or move too fast. or There's always some reasons that might make it very difficult for you to land that charged heavy attack. But I do enjoy using this one more than most others because of the running animation. You can have a bit of space in between you and your target and you can run straight at them. And then this here was just a quick little showcase of where a bunch of the components are. So there you go. And uh, I hope you enjoy trying it out. It's a fun build.